Hello YouTube, I'm the Phone Witch and in this video I'm going to show you how I made Wolverine's cowl from the movie Deadpool and Wolverine. So let's do this. I was going to make my own templates for this but then I found that the incredible Propway had already made their own templates. So to make this build a bit quicker I decided to use them. If you don't already follow Propway, you're really missing out because they are incredible, they are really inspirational, they make amazing builds and they give away amazing templates, so definitely go and check their channel out now. So to start this build, it was to create the dome shape that the cowl has, and following the awesome template, I cut out all the pieces and stuck them together in the order that they needed to go, starting with the two pieces that make the very top of the cowl. For this build, I'm mainly using 5mm foam and I get my foam from the incredible Tig Supplies. And to stick all of the foam together, I'm using the absolutely game changing, specifically for foam, hot glue sticks, also from Tig Supplies. I honestly cannot stop raving about how incredible these things are. They have completely changed my craft in life and I'm so thankful I found they existed. So if you want to try any of these things out for yourself, make sure to check out the Tig Supplies website, I'll put the link in the description of this video, because your foam will thank you. Still following the template, I cut out more sections that are going to go on the top, and because this cowl is obviously round, I heated up most of the pieces of foam with my heat gun and shaped them into place into a curve before I stuck them together. Then it was time to cut out the face part that had the eye holes, obviously cutting out one for each side and again after heating with the heat gun and forming into a curve sticking it on with the hot glue and I think here it looks a little bit like juggernaut then it was onto the nose piece and this needed to be triangular in shape so to achieve this I scored two lines in the back with my Dremel VersaTip and when the foam was bent this gave the shape that was needed sticking this into the gap on the front and that's the base of the cowl complete. Some little eyelid pieces were then cut out which was going to add more definition around the eye area. Again this got done twice because obviously this thing has two eye holes. Then they got stuck into place on both sides. These parts were cut with an inward bevel cut because when you stuck them on it added that inward angle. Here you can see it's jumped from looking quite messy to looking quite clean and I forgot to film the whole process but I spent hours sanding this with my Dremel and sandpaper and that was just to clean up any stray glue and to tidy up the seams. Then I moved on to the wings of the cowl to hopefully make it start looking a little bit more like Wolverine. Probably bored of hearing me saying it but again one for each side. Sticking them both on just above the eye holes. Slowly it's starting to transform. Then it was time to move on to the parts for the cheekbones and these parts were just added to give more definition around the cheek area. These and the eyebrow parts were both made out of 3mm foam because they didn't need to be quite as bulky as the rest of the cowl. Can you guess what I'm going to say next? There was one of these made for each side and if you guess that you get 10 foam witch points. Sticking each one just under the hole for the eye. Then onto the eyebrow parts I just mentioned, and just to confirm, these were out of 3mm foam. And they got stuck on each side in between the bottom of the wing and the top of the eye hole. And now I think it looks a little bit more like... I am Batman! Now back to some more sanding with the Dremel because some of the edges of the parts that have just been put on are a little bit sharp and I want it to look a bit more natural. Once all of the sanding was out of the way, I attached a little piece of elastic under the chin to make this fully wearable. This cowl has some detail lines that need scoring in, so to do this I used my Dremel VersaTip just to put them around these side cheek parts. I also did this on the wings, but again, I forgot to record it. You'd think that with the amount of YouTube videos I've actually done by now, I would remember to film everything, but absolutely not, I forget all the time. Now that the main build of the helmet was complete, I took this incredible flexi filler from Tig Supplies and I used it to go over some of the seams that weren't 100%. This is a flexible filler that you can use to fill in any gaps that your seams might have or just to go over them just to hide them a little bit more and it is amazing. 
to use this you just spread it over any seams you might want to hide and you can then smooth it out with water on your finger. This is what it looked like once it had been applied and it was still wet so I left this overnight to fully dry. And this was the next day after the filler had completely dried. Once the filler was completely dry I took some sandpaper and did a wet sand all over the cowl just to make sure everything was super smooth before painting. The cowl then needed sealing before painting and I used this incredible flexi paint again from Tig Supplies. This flexi paint can be used as a brush on sealer and I'm not joking when I say it goes on super smooth, it leaves hardly any brush strokes. I did thin it down with a little bit of water to avoid the brush strokes but it went on perfectly. I found that you can also use flexi paint through an airbrush which eliminates all brush strokes so once I'd brushed on two layers I then sprayed on three layers through my airbrush. I left it for about 15 minutes to dry between each layer but you can speed this up with a hairdryer. This is how it looked once it was completely dry and you can see how smooth this has gone on, I didn't do anything else to it, no sanding, no buffing, nothing, this is perfect. The middle of this cowl is obviously yellow so I needed to paint that on but first I had to mask off all the parts that I wanted to stay black. The yellow I used to paint this is exactly the same one I used when I was making the Wolverine chest plate. You can check out that video if you want to learn how to make that. There's also free templates. And that yellow is Submarine Yellow from Montana Gold Spray Paints. It was then time for the most terrifying part, which is always peeling off the masking tape. The best tip I can give is to use a hairdryer to heat up the masking tape before pulling it off because this will mean it comes off cleanly without pulling any of the paint off with it. Yes, I did say pulling it off. Much like the chest plate that I made, I don't believe this cowl is supposed to be 100% completely clean so I wanted to dirty it up a little bit and to do this I just took some watered down brown paint, brushed it all over the cowl, wiped a little bit off and it just remained in the crevices where dirt would gather. I'm not really sure you can see it that well as I'm doing it in this part of the video but hopefully here you can just see that there's a subtle bit of grime to the yellow. I wanted to protect the paintwork so I used this matte flexi paint top coat sealer again from Tag Supplies. Yes, Tag Supplies are awesome, check them out. And I used this in my airbrush, I poured it straight out of the bottle and then sprayed on two light layers and it works amazingly. Once the top coat was fully dry the Wolverine cowl was complete. This was a relatively quick build for me, it only took me a couple of days. Normally when I make something it takes me absolutely forever, so I'm really happy with how this turned out. I want to give a huge shout out to Propway to thank them for these templates, make sure you check out their YouTube channel now. I also want to give a massive thank you to Tag Supplies for all the materials that made this build possible. Make sure you check out their website to make all your cosplay dreams come true. I also want to give a massive thank you to anyone who has watched this video and I really hope you've enjoyed seeing how I made the cowl. If you have liked it, if you could give a thumbs up that would be awesome and if you haven't done so already, if you could subscribe to my channel that would be incredible. All I've got left to say is, I'll see you next time, bub.